chapter 1 well here it is the beginning of the rewrite. I want to thank you guys for waiting a little bit. The story will be mostly the same than in the first one, with some few changes here and there to make it better and more awesome edit. This story has a lot of names that are references to games and other stuff so they might not sound japan -y. sorry if you don't like that. Also the chapter length gets better later on. Anyway I hope you like it disclaimer, I don't own Naruto growing up Naruto didn't have friends, he didn't know why, he tried talking to the kids at school and he also went to parks and places like that but everyone seemed to avoid him so he found some escape from life in the video games he got from his surrogate Shii San the third Hokage, and also some that he bought himself with money he saved up. Naruto loved playing video games a lot, in them he was the main character everyone look up to him and came to him when they had trouble that needed to be solved. Whenever Naruto wasn't playing video games he was either visiting his Jiji, the third Hokage at his office or at the Ninja Academy. Naruto wanted to become Hokage in the future, if he became Hokage everyone would look up to him and come to him to solve their troubles it was like being a main character in a game but in real life. He knew that becoming a shinobi would cut on his gaming time but he was okay with that. After all he would be able to meet people and explore places if he became a ninja. He could maybe find some of the places he saw in the games he played, of course most of them were made up. Places but he was sure he could at least find a similar place to them somewhere in the world. Today was Naruto's first day in the last year at the academy, he would graduate soon and be a genin, then he would be placed in a team and he would get to meet many kinds of people and do missions for his village. But right now, he was wondering. What was this blue box in front of him? It hadn't been. There yesterday after all. It read, Welcome to Naruto the game as if feeling his confusion the box flashed and the text on it changed to something else you have been chosen to be a gamer. Your life will now follow the same rules a video game would. You will gain experience and level up while completing quests and fighting enemies. What? Asked Naruto not really getting it. All he got was. That he was chosen to be something called a gamer. But he was sure he didn't have to be chosen to be that, after all he played video games almost every day he was already a gamer. Once again the screen flashed and the text changed. You might have a lot of questions but maybe it is best if you try it out first to help you understand. Please say status to bring up the status screen. Naruto was still confused but he followed the instructions and said what he was told to say. A new box more thinner but taller appeared with a bunch of numbers on it. Once Naruto saw it he couldn't help but compare it to a stats screen he saw in many of the games he played name, Naruto Uzumaki rank, academy student LV, 1 XP, 0 slash 100 HP, 2200 slash 2200 CP, 6000 slash 6000 ATK, 50 def, 34 res, 35 SPD, 40 int, 7 WIS, 17, luck? This is like the ones I see in games, but this one is, for me said Naruto finally understanding what was happening. Then his stats screen flashed away disappearing completely then the other screen he had been seeing since he woke up flashed again and new text appeared on it. To learn more please refer to the help menu. To open the help menu just think about opening it or just say help. While thinking about opening it. It would be terrible if the menu opened while you needed help in a drastic situation and screamed help, so it has been made so that it only opens if you want to open it. Naruto still only grasping the situation didn't know how to really react so he thought that maybe he just had to see more into this while he thought on what to do. So he opened the help menu. The menu had many topics and pages he could access but there was one option that was highlighted that red gamer beginner's guide that seems like a good place to start. Thought Naruto and pushed it with his finger, the screen disappeared and a new one opened that explained some things he needed to know. As a gamer you have access to many systems, abilities, and advantages a game character would have. For example if you want to see your abilities, perks, skills, and learned jutsus all you have to do is think about seeing them or say perks and a menu will appear detailing them right now your rank does not give you access to some benefits of being a gamer but as you gain new ranks or level up you will get access to a whole bunch of systems that will allow you to take full advantage of the gamer system. As a low level and low rank gamer you get access to following systems, reputation system relationship system quest and side quest system perks system and inventory system please choose one to continue the explanation. That was a bunch of information in so little time, Naruto was almost overwhelmed, if he had to compare this to a game he would say he was in the tutorial. But this tutorial was really text heavy compared to the kinds of tutorials he liked. 
But he guessed that he had to keep going and find out more about this so he decided to go in order and pressed the reputation system. The reputation system shows your reputation with everyone you know, from your closest friends to someone you just happened to meet on the street someday. It also shows your reputation with different cities and regions around the world. Reputation can be in one of seven states which are the following, hated highly unfriendly unfriendly normal friendly highly friend admired reputation affects the prizes at the shops or if they'll even let you in to begin with. The reputation system is strongly linked with the relationship system so let's move ahead and explain the relationship system as well before explaining what they do in conjunction. The reputation system sounded sweet, he had always wondered how people thought of him and now with this he could find out. But he needed to wait and learn about the relationship system before using it since he wanted to understand it correctly. And just as he thought that the screen flashed and now showed the relationship system information. The relationship system shows you your relationships with other people as well as other people's relationships between each other. For a relationship to form both persons need to at least have talked for enough time to know a little bit about each other's. Relationships are not measure in fixed values like the reputation system, they are instead measure by titles, like for example a father and a son may have a title like, world's best dad, caring son or even dysfunctional family. The connection between the reputation system and the relationship system should be pretty clear, the higher your reputation the easier it is to have better relationships with people and people that have a good relationships with someone tend to think of them better so you have a higher reputation with them. In short, if you raise one it will be easier to raise the other as well. As a side note the reputation system has no impact in a romantic relationship that is completely handled by the relationship system. The relationship system should be used in conjunction with the reputation system to increase them both and grant access to more side quests. After all someone that doesn't like you or trust you would never ask you to do something for them. Well that was an even bigger bunch of information that Naruto had to wrap his mind around. I'll probably need some time to wrap my mind around all that, but in the meantime I heard quests several times in there, I suppose I should take a look at the quest system then said Naruto still confused but he moved his hand to touch the quest system button. The quest system is the main system you have access to, it gives you your main source of XP and Ryo as well as your main source to get jutsus and perks, when you do something you'll sometimes get a quest explaining what you have to do and the rewards you'll get if you manage to complete said quest quest can be divided in two main categories, main quest and side quests. There are more types of quest if you were to divide each category further but those are the main two. Main quest are the ones that will probably have more impact in your life, they give bigger and better rewards than side quest but they also have a high cost if you were to fail them. It could range to death to the death of someone close to you or just a massive reputation loss. Side quest have less risks than main quests. Most side quest will have no punishment if failed or if they do it will probably be just a small reputation or financial loss. But you shouldn't take side quest lightly as some may have high cost for failing them. Quests, side quests, rewards, costs and losses. I don't get it completely but if I had to compare it to games I would say the quest I get will be a one-time thing with no repeats like that quest of the fortress of some kind of bird in that RPG I played long ago said Naruto remembering how he had forgotten to save and he had failed to protect the fortress and then he couldn't enter again, he felt he had failed all the people in the fortress even though it was only a game. Quests are not the only source of Ryo and EXP, you can also train in the fields by killing mobs that'll give you experience. Whenever you see a mob that'll give you XP they will have their name and level atop their head as well as have a portrait of a different color, green for weak one, yellow for medium ones, and red for hard ones so killing monsters also gives EXP just like in games said. Naruto as he started thinking more like the games he played and he finally started wrapping his head around all this. But I have a question why me, why give this gamer thing to me? Asked Naruto even thought he figured the box would probably not answer unless he touched some button. But suddenly he was surprised when the box closed and a new one appeared as to answer. It's simple really. Someone wanted to help you get stronger. Wah, screamed Naruto jumping backwards as he read the box. He had really thought the box wouldn't answer it had really surprised him when it did. Right then the box changed again for now that should be enough explanation. Let's now begin the tutorial quests. In these quests you'll learn the relationship, reputation, quest, and perk systems in detail. 
And just like that the box closed and a new box appeared this time with bigger letters that read, New quest get to your first day in the last year of the Ninja Academy and complete all objectives given their rewards, 100 XP 500 Ryo Basic Academy Weaponry, Basic Academy Tejetsu, Basic Academy Churka Control Failure, Almost impossible but if you manage to fail you'll get nothing Naruto was still. Not sure what was going on but he would lie if he said he wasn't curious and excited. Curious of why was this happening to him, and what this was exactly and excited because he loved games and the more he looked at this the more it looked like a game and he was sure as hell that he would enjoy playing this game. Okay then, I'll check this out. I have to go to the academy anyways said Naruto, looking at his clock noticing that it was actually pretty late I'm late. Naruto quickly jumped out of his bed where he had been since the morning when he noticed the blue box and quickly got dressed and flew out the door towards the academy. Let's see what this gamer thing is all about, said Naruto excited as he ran. Well I hope you liked it, I liked this beginning more than the last one, also. I'll try to make longer chapters from now on leave a review saying what you think of this new version or if you're new, what you think of the story in general. Video Game Corner this is basically where I recommend a game for you to play or you can just skip it if you want, but just so you know there's one in every chapter, I'll be reusing the ones from the past story, today's game, Pokemon series. Nintendo consoles, the main Pokemon games always have the same formula, catch some Pokemon, train them, defeat the 8 gyms, defeat an evil organization on the way and the Elite Four and the champion of the region. They are pretty fun and I like every one of them if you're wondering black and white and their sequels are my favorites chapter 2 disclaimer. I don't own Naruto Naruto got to the ninja academy as he always did and sat on his normal seat as he did notice that all his classmates had LVS and their names on top of their heads. Right then a text box appeared as to continue with the explanation he had been getting since he woke up. Being a gamer you can see other people's levels but you can't watch their stats unless you get a skill that allows you to do that or you invite them to a party. For now since your rank is still not high enough the party system is locked. He had already been told earlier that he would get more systems as he went up in ranks but he hadn't expected there to be a party system. He could think of almost any game he had played in his life and he knew that having a party was better than going solo so a system like that could be really good if ever got access to it. Naruto looked towards his classmates once again and he noticed they all had transparent white portraits surrounding their names and levels. He was quickly informed of what this meant thanks to another box from the gamer thing. Another important thing you can see is if a person is dangerous to you, a person's portrait is normally white, but if you know they are hostiles or they turn hostile towards you, their portraits will change to either green for an easy opponent, yellow for an evenly matched opponent or red for a strong opponent. Portraits can also be blue this indicates they are your allies or party members. Okay so if I found a person that is obviously going to attack me, like an enemy ninja, the portrait would turn into another color, which will be helpful. Thought Naruto he looked at all of his classmates levels to see how strong they were, Chuji LV, 2 Hinata LV, 4 Ino LV, 1 Sakura LV, 1 Suzuki LV, 5 Kiba LV, 4 Shino LV, 2 Shikamaru LV. 3 He was actually surprised that so many people were above level 1 since he was level 1 as well but he was really surprised that Suzuki was level 5 already. He had accepted that maybe Suzuki was a little better than him in many things but that he was 4 levels higher than him was insane. But what he had to say surprised him the most was that Hinata was level 4. He had thought Hinata was just a weird girl and he barely saw her doing anything when he was around but for her to be level 4 she must have been trained a lot back at her home. Then Iruka sensei came into the room with Mizuki sensei right behind him. Iruka LV, 21 Mizuki LV, 27 Strangely enough everyone sat down when they entered and stayed quiet which was a rare sight. Iruka especially was taken aback for a second. Iruka quickly looked towards Naruto's sit to see if he was there since it was normally Naruto's fault that some people were not sitting down or were talking a lot but when he saw him sitting there calmly waiting for the class to start he was even more taken aback. Iruka still a little bit shocked cleared his throat and then spoke up. He was the teacher after all he had to go on with his class. Well everyone, today we are not going to have a normal class, to celebrate the fact that you got into the last year we are going to go outside and do a weapon throwing competition said Iruka this will be a fun exercise to measure your level with kunao and shuriken as well as to help you see how far you have gotten with it to help you see where you need to improve if needed. 
Yes, so everyone please stand up in order and head to the training area said Mizuki, and then everyone headed to the school training grounds where the practice dummies were. Naruto got a quest on the way outside, a box also explained that the quest was a part of the tutorial quests he needed to do as to finish his main quest that he had gotten that morning back home. New quest complete the throwing weapons exercise reward, completion towards main quest. Failure, this mission is impossible to fail for. Well this was an easy mission if it was impossible to fail, this was literally like many tutorials he had played in games before. When everyone had made their way to the training area Mizuki stood in front of them and spoke up. Okay, each one of you will have 5 shuriken and 5 kunao, throw them towards the dummy and each hit will count as 1 point said Mizuki there are no extra point for hitting the head or anything like that, this just a small competition to see how you all are doing. Any questions? asked Irika. After. There were no questions Irika spoke. Okay then first one will be Chuji Akimichi said Irika. Chuji took his kunao and threw them one by one as well as his shuriken, he got 6 points in total. That's better than what I normally do, said Chuji excited. After that everyone else passed, Ino and Sakura only got 3 points each, Kiba and Shino both got 8 points, Shikamaru did the exercise but, because he was so lazy he only got 1 point, Hinata got 7 points and Suzuki got a full 10, and then it was Naruto's turn. It seems Suzuki's level isn't just for show, he got all 10 points thought Naruto ok here I go. Naruto decided to throw each kunao and shuriken one by one, and got a decent 4 out of 10. Ok that's everyone, although I would suggest that you try a little better next time. Shikamaru. Dropping the kunao to the floor doesn't count as a throw said Iruka. Troublesome muttered Shikamaru as he turned. Let's all go inside now and start with normal classes said Iruka and everyone went inside. On the way back to the class, a box appeared, mission complete complete the throwing weapons exercise reward. Completion towards your main quest back inside they had normal. Classes, no quest popped up during classes, after a few classes they had a free period and a quest popped up. New quest use the reputation system and raise your reputation with someone in your class during the free period. Reward, completion towards your main goal failure, lower relationship and reputation with your whole class well this was more challenging, because if he failed he would lose. The little relationship and reputation he had with his classmates so he had to complete this mission at all cost. As he didn't really knew how his reputation was at the moment Naruto decided to check his reputation with his classmates to see who to choose to raise his reputation with. Naruto opened the menu and then selected the reputation system trying to not get much attention on him, he still didn't know how to feel about the gamer thing but he definitely didn't wanted anyone knowing about it. The box closed and a small book materialized out of nowhere on his lap, Luckily he was sitting so no one probably saw that. Naruto picked up the book surprised that it had appeared out of nowhere and opened it. This book was pretty detail and it also brought an explanation on the reputation. System on the first page. It was just what the gamer thing told him that morning but he figured it was nice to have there in case he forgot. Naruto quickly opened the book and read through it. His reputations were as follows, Kanaha, hated civilian population of Kanaha, Hated Shinobi population of Kanaha, unfriendly Hiruzen Sarutobi, highly friendly Iruka Omino, highly friendly Mizuki, highly unfriendly Suzuki Achiha, unfriendly Sakura Harino, hated Ino Yamanaka, highly unfriendly Chuji Akimichi, normal Shikamaru Nara, normal Kiba Inuzuka, normal Shino Abarame, unfriendly Hineta Hayaga, admired wow everyone seemed to hate him, well mostly everyone, his Jiji was highly friendly with him as well as Iruka Sensei. He didn't know why Mizuki Sensei was highly unfriendly but he figured it was just the same thing he had with everyone else. What he really couldn't understand was why Hinata was admired already if he almost never talked to her. Well something for another day, right now he needed to raise his reputation with someone. After thinking about it for a while, he decided to raise his reputation with someone that was normal, since those didn't hate him, or have already existing reputation making it harder to raise it. Shikamaru could be a choice but he was so lazy that if Naruto tried talking to him he might just ignore him or get annoyed by him interrupting his cloud watching. Kiba would be a good choice, but Naruto couldn't find him for some reason. So Naruto picked Chuji that was still in the classroom eating some chips. It was weird that Chuji wasn't with Shikamaru or Ino, those three. Always talked about how they would probably be the next generation of some team of sorts, 
but Naruto never really paid attention to it. If Naruto knew one thing was that he shouldn't bet on who he would end up with in a team as he could end up with anyone. Naruto closed the book and it disappeared then he stood up and walked towards Chuji. Hey, Chuji how's it going? asked Naruto. Chuji was confused at the question for a little, but then he answered I'm fine but I wish I had brought more chips. I didn't think I would eat through them so fast. Now I'm on my last bag said Chuji as he continued eating somewhat slower than before as if to conserve the chips he had left. Well I could go see if I find some more said Naruto trying to be friendly. Would you really do that? asked. Chuji to which Naruto nodded thanks man said Chuji. Naruto decided to see if they sold any chips at the school shop. Maybe they had some, he never really bought anything there since he always saved up his money for games or for his other favorite thing in the world, ramen. He headed to the shop and found that they indeed sold chips so he bought three bags for Chuji and then headed back. On his way back Naruto bumped into someone when he turned a corner look where you're going said Naruto somewhat mad without looking at who he had bumped. I I am sorry and Naruto-kun said Hinata her face, red as a tomato, did she had a fever? Being a little worried Naruto quickly apologized. Don't worry Hinata, I wasn't looking where I was going either said Naruto extending his hand to help Hinata. Up, Hinata took his hand slowly, almost too slowly. Naruto then helped her up but quickly after her face turned even redder and then she fainted. What? Hinata, are you alright? asked Naruto worried for his classmate. Maybe she did have a fever. Naruto decided to carry her to the infirmary. Chuji could probably wait a little bit. They still had time before class started again after all. After leaving Hinata at the infirmary and explaining that she might have a fever since she was really red he headed back to the classroom and gave Chuji the bags of chips. Thanks Naruto said Chuji taking one of the bags and opening it immediately, it looked like he had been waiting for it the whole day. Well, I wanted to help, you know start the year with the right foot said Naruto, Chuji made an affirmative sound as he engulfed the chips well anyways see you later Chuji class about to start. He went back to his seat and grabbed his reputation book again, surprisingly his reputation with Chuji had gone up, and he was now friendly. A box appeared, mission complete use the reputation system and raise your reputation with someone in your class reward, completion towards your main goal. And then a second box appeared, mission completed get to your first day in the last year of the ninja academy and complete all objectives given their rewards, 100 xp 500 ryo basic academy weaponry basic academy teijetsu, basic academy churka control he had completed his first quest, that was rather simple for a tutorial but he figured that he wasn't completely out of it yet. This gamer thing, is pretty interesting thought Naruto as he closed his reputation book making it disappear I wonder what else is out there. Decided to end it there, tell me what you thought, more info on the perks of the academy next chapter video game corner, today's game Xenoblade Chronicles, it's a great Wii game that is now able in the new 3DS. The relationship system in this story is inspired by the affinity chart in Xenoblade so giving that a look will explain it pretty quickly to you. Xenoblade is by far one of the best games I have played in my life with great story and character chapter 3 disclaimer. I don't own Naruto when Naruto arrived home he got a notification that he had leveled up after completing the last quest, so his stats were now like this, name, Naruto Uzumaki rank, academy. Student LV, 2 XP, 0 slash 200 HP, 2400 slash 2400 CP, 6100 slash 6100 ATK, 55 DEF, 39 RES, 35 SPD, 40 INT, 14 WIS, 22 LUCK. He then decided to check what else this game had in offer. He started by opening his menu and looking for the skills section. He found it pretty quickly it was labeled under perks. As he opened it the box disappeared and another book appeared, this one bigger than the reputation book. He opened the first page and read welcome to your perk book, in here you can get perks or abilities, you will notice that most of the pages in the book are blank, don't worry as you go up in rank and get other abilities, the book will start to fill up and you will have access to more perks. Okay that explains why nearly the entire book is blank, but how do I unlock these perks, asked Naruto as he flipped the page and as luck would have it his answer was on page 2. To unlock any able perk you need to meet the requirements in the perk as well as have, 1. Perk point. Perk points are obtained sometimes either when you level up or when you complete a mission, at first getting perk points might seem hard, 
but once you start to level up and are able to do higher ranked missions, you will see that finding perk points is quite easy. Some perks will unlock themselves automatically when you meet certain conditions and they don't need perk points. Most of the perks that unlock automatically will not appear on the perk book until you know the requirements that need to get met or you unlock the perk, this is because most of the automatic perks are tied to things you don't know about. Well, I better check the book then said Naruto as he started to check the book, there were some perks like basic funjutsu that required for him to have a funjutsu book to unlock, which he didn't have. After a while he found one he really wanted just because of how cool it sounded, Fox Fire have a base end of 200, a base residential of 300 and a base WIS of 350 extra requirements, meet, and convince him slash her. To help you, get fire element control medium or higher extra way to unlock it, Fox Fire lets you burn the chakra and body of your opponents, as well as giving you a higher control of the fire element, Fox Fire will get stronger as your control of the fire element and your int grow higher. So requirements can also include specific persons, this is like learning a secret technique that no one else knows from a secret sensei in games said Naruto getting excited but there's apparently another method of unlocking it, but it is in complete darkness right now, I guess this is one of those automatic perks maybe, and that extra requirement is tied to something I don't know yet. He also found the perks he had gained during the last mission and decided to check them out basic academy, Teijutsu. Grants a buff to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat, effect minimum, basic academy weaponry, grants a buff to combat with kunao and shuriken, effect minimum, basic academy chakra control, makes it easier to learn jutsus, effect minimum, well it was not much but every little bit helps thought Naruto. Naruto then explored the help menu and found more systems he had access to such as a chat log that let him see every conversation he had been a part of, or any conversation he had heard and paid attention to. So any conversation he had heard but didn't paid attention was not recorded in the log. I have to admit this game thing is awesome and I was always told by Jiji and Iruka sensei that a ninja uses any tool at his disposal to grow stronger and get the advantage, I guess I could get used to this. Thing said Naruto as he closed every box he had opened and headed outside. He decided that he wanted to see if he could make his reputation with Kanaha a bit better, after all if he improved it, every shop would have lower prices so he headed outside to see if he could find a way to improve them. Once outside he headed to the commercial district and found some weird symbols in front of some shops, and when he got close the symbol, it transformed into a box that read, side quest eliminate the mutated rats in the back alley reward, raise reputation with the commercial district of Kanaha 100 Ryo failure, lowers reputation with the commercial district of Kanaha and then on the bottom of the box were an accept and a decline button, he pressed the accept button and then headed to the back alley and indeed found some weird looking rats there. All of them were between level 1 and 3 and they all had green portraits so they were easy, and from what he could see there were probably around 7 rats, and Naruto knew he would have trouble fighting them all at the same time so he planned a way to approach. Naruto grabbed a pebble that was on the ground and threw it at the closest rat gaining its attention without bothering the other rats. The rat then ran towards Naruto at full speed. For a small animal Naruto had to admit it was really fast. As the rat ran towards him he drew his kunao and prepared for it. When the rat was close enough it jumped towards Naruto but he just moved to the side and slashed the rat in half killing it. He continued with this tactic for a little while killing four of the seven rats. The last three were so close to each other that the same strategy wouldn't work on them. So after thinking about it for a while Naruto decided brute force was the answer. Naruto ran forward towards the rats with two kunao in his hand, he threw one impacting a rat on the back, killing it instantly. He then did the same with his other kunao but the rats were alert this time and moved out of the way running towards Naruto. Seeing this Naruto took out another kunao and moved to the side to avoid the attack of one of the rats, but the second rat stayed low and bit on Naruto's foot hurting him. Naruto noticed how his HP barely got down from the attack, he had to admit. 2400 HP was not a normal number for a level 2 character in a game. Maybe he was way too tanky. Naruto slashed the rat at his feet and then managed to kill the last one after letting it bite on his arm to hold it still. He only lost around 100 HP from both attacks, which wasn't that much considering how much HP he had. After killing all 7 rats he had just gained 14 XP which was too little, and 
He knew that he had to find a better place to grind because these rats would just not do. Then Naruto noticed who his HP went back to full in almost no time. I know I heal fast but that's insane said Naruto looking at his health regeneration. That was different, I have never fought something like that but I just felt like I could win easily like when I go back to the starting area after killing. The first boss in a game. You always feel overpowered said Naruto looking down at himself I guess since I saw it pretty much as a game I could stay calm and fight accordingly. After that he got notification in the form of a box, side quest complete eliminate the mutated rats in the back alley of the commercial district reward, raise reputation with the commercial district of Kanaha 100 Ryohi. Checked his reputation and it was still hated he realized that he would have to do a lot of these quests if he wanted to raise his reputation all the way to normal or friendly. Anyway before that he needed to find a place where he could buy stuff at a reasonable price, some place where he was not hated to make it easier to raise the reputation with that particular shop. He decided to search for a shop like that, once he had enough money, right now he just had like 1800 Ryo, and that was because he was saving up before this whole gamer thing happened and he had saved like 1100 Ryo, and the rest came from the game itself which he had to say. Getting money was a lot easier now that his life was a game. Maybe he would do more of these side quests to gain money and raise his reputation in one shot. Decided to end it there, this first chapters are hard to write, I don't know why but I just want to get through them and get to the better stuff later on well anyway hope you liked it and please leave a review telling me what you think video game corner, today's game Gears of War series, Xbox 360. The Gears of War series are some of the best games you'll find in the Xbox exclusives. Library, it's a third-person shooter that basically defined how we do third-person shooters now. I personally recommend play chapter 1 well here it is the beginning of the rewrite. I want to thank you guys for waiting a little bit. The story will be mostly the same than in the first one, with some few changes here and there to make it better and more awesome edit. This story has a lot of names that are references to games and other stuff so they might not sound japan -y. sorry if you don't like that. Also the chapter. Length gets better later on. Anyway I hope you like it disclaimer, I don't own Naruto growing up Naruto didn't have friends, he didn't know why, he tried talking to the kids at school and he also went to parks and places like that but everyone seemed to avoid him so he found some escape from life in the video games he got from his surrogate Shii San the third Hokage and also some that he bought himself with money he saved up. Naruto loved playing video games a lot, in them he was the main character everyone look up to him and came to him when they had trouble that needed to be solved. Whenever Naruto wasn't playing video games he was either visiting his Jiji, the third Hokage at his office or at the Ninja Academy. Naruto wanted to become Hokage in the future, if he became Hokage everyone would look up to him and come to him to solve their troubles it was like being a main character in a game but in real life. He knew that becoming a shinobi would cut on his gaming time but he was okay with that, after all he would be able to meet people and explore places if he became a ninja. He could maybe find some of the places